with Pamper Chef here. I wanted to show you what we're making for dinner tonight. This is a pork loin, but it, we're gonna make a quinoa salad. And I'm kind of combining a couple of worlds here together. One of them, the recipe, is from our Taste Buds collection that I received in November. So we're gonna be using an urban onion seasoning. The other is from Kroger. The salad, I get their magazine every month, and this salad just looks really refreshing. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tips. So quinoa is a really healthy grain. The key to cooking quinoa though is to rinse it really, really well. The very first time I ever had it, it we did not like it. It tasted very earthy. So uh, we use this and then this is two cups. So we're simply going to put that right in here in the quick cooker. Now you can use a stove top, of course, but the beauty of this is that it goes very, very fast, okay? So we're gonna put this in here. Rinsing it is really important. So now I'm just gonna put some chicken broth. Now remember that water is what it calls for, but water has no flavor. So that's why I always use broth. So you can see the inside of the quick cooker. Um, this is just pretty simple, you guys. And then we're gonna take our lid just like that now one thing that i've done is i made a binder with all the cooking guides the quick cooker the blender and the air fryer now according to this quinoa is a whole grain and it takes just three minutes you guys so we're gonna go on really quick huh, i forgot oh whole grains my bad okay so we're gonna go to the whole grains function right here and we're gonna go time, and we're gonna go four minutes because I've doubled the recipe, okay? And we're gonna hit start. Now we're gonna leave that alone. So now we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna work on our salad and our pork. So I wanna get the pork going in the skillet. Now this is a pork loin that I've cut into chops. A pork loin and a tenderloin are not the same, okay? So a pork loin, it's going to be uh, not as tender as a tenderloin is. And I found out that a lot of it has to do with the placement of where it is in the muscles. So your cuts of beef and pork, any of that, it has to do with um, the tougher the meat means it's a muscle that they've used more. So a loin is going to be a t little bit tougher, but I, to me, you almost can't tell, but a tenderloin does cook much faster, okay? So what I've done is I've just made this, cut it up into um, chops. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our herb and slow, excuse me, herb and onion slow cooker. In fact, share this video and I'm gonna give this away for free, okay? So I'll send that to you. So we're gonna take this, and I'm going to season these just a little bit. Um, the recipe says to put this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So it doesn't say to cut it up. You can do it any way you want. I am not cutting it up tonight. I'm simply um, doing it into chops. That's your preference. That's the beauty of this is that you can do whatever you want, okay? so. I'm going to flip these over. Now I have my skillet going, so it's gonna be nice and hot because we want a nice sear on our meat. So anytime you're cooking with meat, you want your skillet hot. You heat it up for about five to eight minutes. That's all you need, okay? All right. So I'm gonna put this right over here for contamination reasons. Okay, so let's get our chops going. You can see our skillet is starting to smoke. It's waiting for us, okay? That means I've talked too much if it's smoking like that. Who would have thought? Nobody thinks I talk too much, right? Don't ask the camera guy. Okay, so we're gonna put this in. Now you don't wanna overcrowd your pan. Overcrowding your pan actually leads to a different type of cooking and your sear won't be as good because it creates more humid environment. So we're gonna let that sit and do its thing. So let's go back over here and let's get our salad going. So this is our salad. Now I just found this on sale. So uh, one of the things, this was a pretty dirty 
this is, I don't know, it's like those organic things that I, I had to wash pretty good. There was a lot of dirt. So, now a lot of people think that if you cut your lettuce with a metal knife, that's what turns it brown. That is false. It's a myth. What turns your lettuce brown is the water left in the storage device. So if I had enough lettuce to actually have leftovers, then, look you guys, look at the dirty water that was in there. Um, now what I could do is I could leave it in this bowl and serve it just like that, but I don't know if you've heard the story, but this bowl is the last bowl I painted with my mama, so I like using this bowl. So, cutting your lettuce with a metal knife is not what turns our lettuce brown. What turns it brown is the water left in the storage device. So if I was going to leave this, if we were going to have leftovers, I would put this, I would probably do the spinner again and then put a paper towel in the bag. But we're not going to worry about that tonight, okay? So now we're going to make our own dressing. So this is our measure, mix, and pour. And we have our olive oil, and we're going to add in a couple of different things here okay so we're going to do this is the recipe from our Kroger cat, uh, booklet thingy I don't know what it's called anyway so we're gonna add in our orange zest okay so a little bit of citrus to brighten it up we're gonna add in our mustard that eh, looks good we're gonna add in some cinnamon so we're just gonna add in an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So you don't, cinnamon is so good for more than just baking, but you don't need a lot of it, okay? So we're gonna add in that. And we're gonna add in our salt. And we're gonna add in our pepper. Let me make sure I need have everything. Cinnamon, black pepper, and olive oil. Oops, I forgot lemon juice. Lemon juice, I what I do, is I actually do lemon and I store it right in the freezer, okay? This is lime juice. So what I do is I juice the lemon and then freeze it flat. And what I'll do is I'll just put some of this, okay? We need a tablespoon and a half, okay? So all I'll do is put the chunks in this okay and by the time that dinner is ready it'll be thawed and I won't even have to worry about it so I always have fresh lemon right on hand put that right in there okay now here is this right here and we're just gonna mix this up of course it's still frozen so what once the quinoa is done then what I'll do is um, we have pistachios and the boys and I actually stood there and de-shelled the pistachios. I don't recommend putting them in your mouth first to de-shell. Other people just don't want your spit. I'm just saying, it's weird. But, and then we're going to do dried cranberries, okay? So we're going to put all of this together. Now when you zest your orange, you can see here the darker area. You don't want to go past this. This is very bitter if you get into this called pith. So you don't want to get pithy. Just kidding. All right, so now that our pork chops are going, our quinoa is going, about 10 minutes and everything will be put together. I'll show you pictures later. Talk to you soon.